Hi, I'm David Fifield, the general manager for the Hunt Showdown franchise, and we're following up our last roadmap chat to walk you through some of the near-term plans as we close out 2023 and give some thoughts on what to expect in early 2024. We'll be talking about the upcoming events, game features, controller and console updates, back-end networking improvements, and the CryEngine upgrade. We started our latest trilogy of events with the Tide of Shadows in June. We are now preparing to deploy the second and third chapters of the trilogy across the fall and winter of 2023. We've had a great response to the new packs and trait systems that we update with each event. We plan to deliver more of these, mixing up some of the old ones and introducing new ones as we go. A fiery wildcard map condition from last year will return with some tweaks and modifications and the development is underway for an entirely new condition, but we'll talk about that more when it's closer to launch. October will have a Twitch drop campaign as we celebrate Halloween with a new hunter, weapon, and charm reward for viewers. These drops will also include another wave of crates to bolster your inventories and the event points that you get just for tuning in to watch. We will soon offer an additional 25 Hunter slots to upgrade beyond the current maximum of 50. The Prestige system is also getting a rework related to the unlocking of weapons this year and then some new reward schemes are planned for 2024. Specifically, we will unlock more base weapon groups for both new and Prestige players very early in the progression. This should reduce the pain of Prestige somewhat, while next year we will be back with some changes around the rewards for achieving significant milestones up through Prestige 100. Challenge pools are being expanded and refreshed based on mountains of data and survey feedback from the first half of the year, always with a mind to be more engaging and encourage a variety of weapons and tactics in both exploration and direct combat. Trait reworks are being evaluated to consolidate similar traits to a single version with wider application, such as moving the three separate Scopesmith traits into a single trait, as well as some better logic around the traits that newly recruited hunters start with. Weapon inspection animations are a frequently requested feature. We are rolling them out in stages starting with our next update, 114. The first batch provides inspection animations for a subset of weapons and equipment starting with pistols, melee weapons, and some tools. Over time, more weapon groups and equipment will be given similar animations. Console controller and gamepad support is getting a major refactor. We're currently targeting the winter update for significant changes giving players dead zone adjustments, as well as aim assist and acceleration options. Early next year, we'll follow those improvements with custom button mapping and a weapon wheel rework. We are moving to a decentralized backend for all our services next year. This will allow for updates without downtime and prevent regional outages from spilling over or cascading across multiple servers. This change will also give quicker responses to inventory and bloodline interactions, both in match and in menus. We are optimizing our network layer to improve the timing accuracy between players over the net. This should give notable relief on the common frustration points of rubber banding world positions, projectile path consistency, and the trade windows where players take each other out with painfully long delays between the on-screen deaths. Matchmaking will be refactored to address MMR volatility and allow partner duos to team with a third random player. Team voice chat functions will be changed to allow communication without broadcasting your comms to the enemy teams in your proximity, and voice communication will also work even when hunters are down or spread out across the map at far distances. We recently made the decision to forbid the use of Reshade, directing Easy Annie Cheat to block anyone from launching into Hunt Showdown with it active. We'll be taking even more steps to ensure fair play over the coming year, as we've recruited some key hires for a focus team countering exploits and cheaters, along with a more sophisticated handling and analysis of player reporting for toxicity, exploits, and cheating. The Hunt upgrade to CryEngine 511 is still underway and planned for release in early 2024. As announced previously, Map 4 is coming next year with a new biome. Map 4 is being built as a showcase for many of the graphical and content upgrades in the new CryEngine and will launch at the same time as the upgrade. This upgrade applies to both the PC and console versions of Hunt Showdown and will mark the official launches for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. We are also announcing today that with this upgrade, we'll be raising both the minimum PC and console specs 
that Hunt Showdown will support. The important note for console users is that with the upgrade and launches on Xbox Series X and S, as well as PS5 consoles, the previous generation of consoles, such as PS4 and Xbox One versions of Hunt Showdown, will no longer be available for play. The removal of PS4 and Xbox One support will not happen any sooner than April 2024, but is being announced now to give ample notice to any affected players. In the same time frame, the PC min-supported spec will be raised to an equivalent level as noted in the screen details. After five and a half years of hunt, we wrestled with the numbers and reviewed the install base. Among active users, these upgrades should impact less than 10% of the community, while greatly enhancing the experience for the other 90%. As part of the new console launches, a free upgrade path will be provided for players to migrate from the older console versions to the new upgraded versions of Hunt Showdown. No new purchase is required to make the transition, and player history, inventories, and DLC purchases are also carried over without charge. PC title IDs and game ownership will be unchanged with no transition or bridge needed. The first stage of publishing the upgraded engine version has support for DX12, FSR 2.1.2, direct storage, and HDR. And that's just the first stage. As we continue into the second half of 2024, we'll continue to add generationally improved features all made possible by the combination of the new CryEngine and the increased minimum supported specs. A complete UI overhaul is also underway as part of the engine upgrade. This overhaul refactors every screen in the game. A strong emphasis has been placed on navigation and readability for both mouse and keyboard, as well as gamepad controller users. From early review, we see that it's a significant improvement and we are eager to get it published for you all. Those are all the major points that we wanted to catch up on today. As events and features get closer to launching, we'll be back with more detailed discussions and teasers for the hundreds of questions that are sure to follow. We're extremely grateful for the continuous growth and engagement the Hunt community has shown with every major update. Your feedback, commitment, and passion for Hunt are the key force driving the franchise forward. We are honored to be on this road with you all, and we look forward to many years ahead.